Okay, we gotta start assembling this back together. I'm gonna put this connector back in, backboard. Didn't go as easy as I would have liked it to, but it went in. I gotta get that board down. Still not quite in position yet. There we go. Okay, let's get the top screw in. Make sure you're in a little hole. It's like a dowel. We'll tighten that down. We have the one for the power bar. Okay, now I need to get this ribbon here in. Make sure the tab's down. And I can just flip my fingernail and flip that lever up. Now you gotta be careful with the, if it doesn't want to go, don't force it. Because you don't want to break it. And our power bar is mounted now. We can start assembling the camera back together. I need to put the back. I need to put the. Okay, we need to put our dial back in. We put our dial back in. We're gonna. Make sure we're down where we're supposed to be. There we go. A little clipper by my thumbnail. Unfortunately, it doesn't want to stay there. Ah, it's a little better when I get the ribbon all the way down, so it'll stay there now. Okay, I want to put my back cover back on. I, like I said, I'm going to have a tripod holder on this one. You can go out the top. I want a tripod holder. Took it out. Um, I like the camera above the board. I don't like wire floating around either, so I can make a whole lot cleaner build. Okay, now we can put this screw on the side. Now we can put our back on, or front end, I'm sorry, we can put our front end on. Okay, we're gonna, after our front end, we need to put our screws back in.
and our uh, I helped our uh, builds complete. Okay, now what you could have done was you could have ran a separate ground for your power and for your uh, power on and shutter. I'm going to use uh, battery ground that I used, and by touching our power on with the common camera powers on. Now by touching common or ground with shutter, I take a picture. This completes the hack. Um, you can follow through the PDF. Um, T Bass has one on on Cam Trapper. There's a PDF file for W30. Um, then what we're going to do, then what also we can do is this is our power negative. We'll run this to our externals. And what I'll do is I'll run a wire from here, from this wire, over for my board. So it's a three wire hack with externals. I hope this helps.